this video, I'm going to show you how to tell if somebody clicked on your link from your Facebook post um, or anywhere else you're actually posting, but I'm going to specifically show you Facebook today. My name is Lori Ballin. I'm a digital marketing strategist and I earn six figures through my affiliate marketing strategies alone. I have a real estate business, a marketing company, a weight loss coaching company, and, and um, do lots of stuff. So digital marketing is my thing. And let me show you this. So I today, a little while ago on my personal business, on my personal page, I posted a little test here. So this morning I created a blog. I'll show you the blog post and the blog post is on my um, lifestyle blog that is geared towards the women, the woman in her midlife range, like 40 to 65 ish. All right. And it was all about, I make up mistakes and I created this blog and what my goal was, I wanted to get some traffic right over here. I wanted, this is a brand new website. I wanted some of my audience, some of the women to maybe check it out. So I wasn't really concerned whether it was one click or two clicks or 10 clicks or a hundred clicks, just kind of getting a little bit of stuff out there. Well, if I would just look at my post here, every time I do a beauty blog, I spend $200 on makeup. I can see a couple of people commenting, okay? Not a ton of engagement yet. This is about an hour old, but there's some, engage there's some engagement. Now, if I had put the link in the Facebook post itself, it probably would have died. What I find happens is if we put a link with our post, oftentimes it just gets removed from the algorithm. Facebook wants to keep everybody on the website, not off of it. So I tend to put my blogs in the comment below. And maybe we'll do a video where we test this theory and I'll do two posts back to back, one with the link and one without the link and then look at what happens. Anyway, now, if I just looked at this, I would think it died. I don't see any real likes or comments on that blog post, or whatever. So I don't like to base my decisions and, and um, uh, business strategies on feelings. I think it died. I think nobody liked it, right? I want to know what happened with it. So I have a um, tool here called Clicky. And <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to put a, a link to Clicky in this video. Um, I do have an affiliate link and I do benefit if you wind up making a purchase. Clicky is free and then pro. So they have like a free something and then they have a paid version. I do have the paid version and I have multiple accounts. I run lots and lots of websites off this um, analytic software. So Clicky is just um, a quick analytic software that allows you to put all your websites in here. And you can click on your website and you can see how people are finding your website. You can see um, what content is performing well, okay? So watch this right here. I can click on visitors and I can even see real time. I can see people that are here right now. I can see people that were here prior to. All right, so what I'm looking for is to see if anybody clicked on that link, right? Right here on Facebook, I put that blog. Now watch this, look what's happening. Visitors, midlife woman makeup tutorials. That's the blog. Here's another one. 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 And another and another. Oh my goodness, look at this. So you guys, and then down to about the time where I posted it, what we're seeing is, and we can also see the exact count. If we go to content, we can look and see that 10 people visited it. There were 10 views in the last hour. Okay. And this is a positive signal to the search engines to get traffic there right after posting. So it's, it's a really good strategy to do, but it's also a good way to, you know, increase brand awareness. And my goal for this blog is to have it ranking on the search engines, but I do love to have the social traffic as well. Now, if I didn't have clicky installed, I wouldn't be able to just quick hop over like that and watch my visitors hit my blog right away. You know, Google Analytics is pretty geeky. It's very detailed. It's not, it's not as simple to view where this gives me an immediate, immediate evidence that it's working, that people indeed are clicking through and looking at it. So I've, I've, I've appealed to the right audience and that was what I was after. So that is how you use Clicky. Now, 
if you are in need of a website, I've got this great website here. I do own a digital marketing company called Balan Brands, and we can build these websites for you. So if you're looking to build a lifestyle blog or a niche website or anything like that, we, we can integrate your analytics software for you. We can integrate other plugins. And then in this video below, I also have a link to a really cool um, forum that I'm part of for affiliate marketers. And if you're a do-it-yourself-er, <laughs> you can actually build your WordPress right in there. So I've put a link there to the video if you want to look down and check that out. I'm Lori Ballin. Please subscribe to the channel. Click the bell to be notified when I make new videos, and I will look forward to seeing you on the next one.